Hey guys, it's me Zell, and we are here with another episode of The Mandalorian. Super exciting! The show's been a lot of fun so far and a lot of cool things happening last episode with the Covert, the Mandalorian, new clan, kind of multiple clans obviously. And getting to see a little bit of Grogu advancing and mostly Bo-Katan within the rank. So it's very interesting to see that progress. So this episode we're going to be watching is episode five or chapter 21 called The Pirate, which that already gets my brain going. I want to see Hondo in live action. That'll be super cool. I don't know if that'll happen again. Keeping track of the timeline, I need to have like a chart in front of me of everything from like the prequels, to the sequels, and the shows are in this realm that's happening. But then people too, that we know of that were in existence in that time and like the years between those. Cause otherwise things get so mixy, turny, or they're referring to a pirate. Like anyways, I'm just speculating. Let's get on with the show. This is Zell, and we're going to be watching a reaction. And I'll say the thing, if you want to see more content, check out this Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Zell. X-C-L-L-L-E. That's Zell with three L's, so. And on that note, let's get watching the next episode of The Mandalorian. Let's see how this goes, because I'm in a weird mood. Totally forgot about Gorian Shan Shard. Gorian Shart? I don't know. Make a note. That's cool to be city planning when your city is just newly being expanded. That's such a cool freaking ship. I love that hammerhead front look Pirates. with the lines. Pirates. Yes. No. Is that the C-3PO actor to. inside there, you, you think? You get the citizens to safety, I'll handle this. Hey, cutie. Gorian Shard. Don't believe my eyes. The voice sounds like Grief All Targa. All I see before me is a pampered nobleman dressed for the pomp of his wedding, gunning down my helmsman in cold blood. I like when the When he let down his guard on your planet. He shot first. Well, now I Sounds will annoying. shoot. Benward First. Patrol passes through here regularly. <laughs> <laughs> the New Republic can't even protect the Mid-Rim from the Pirate Nation. Okay. I like the imperfection with the... Not CGI, but... Just the lips not moving perfectly. Just like the original practical effects. It's fun to have that. Go. He's a good leader, a man. A lot, a lot. Retreat to the long run. Inconsiderate. Oh! That woman was running with the ice cream container. It looks like it. Pretty water. Ooh, what do you think real destination this is in our world? It's a cool flipping base. Wait a sec. I like it. I will download this tune. Yes, I will. Mm. Oh, it's him! Government's help. <gasps> I really thought Navarro was gonna make it. I'm gonna forward this to Coruscant. Request permission to intercede. They haven't returned a dispatch in weeks. The swamp. <sighs> then I'm just gonna have to go there and Who talk to them you? myself. Face. I love I'm not your attitude. Good luck. I'm not trying to be specious. But the voice. Ah, uh, uh, why? It couldn't be Zeb, right? Or could it? And why would they tease that and not give me more? I can't. No. Shush you. No, no, no. Do not put any more stuff on that part hey! of the area. Hey! Uh, requesting authorization and backup for a Delphi squadron in dealing with the pirate siege on Navarro. Navarro? I haven't heard of it. It's a small planet on the outer rim. He went all the way in person to ask for this request. Captain Taper, we have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shark. You 
once offered that I might reach out. Uh, I get the gist. It does sound concerning. Excuse me. No. Oh, I'm going down to the commissary. Can I get you anything? Thank you, and I'm fine for now. I'm sorry, officer, you spent some time in the auto rim, right? Have you ever heard of Navarro? I have. I'm not a member of Planet. Uh-oh. It's not good. What does that matter? We can't leave them defenseless. Of course not. But we have a backlog of requests from member worlds that the have priority. citizens speak of Moff Gideon occupying the town, and now a pirate king is attempting the same thing? These events could all Perhaps be connected. Perhaps the leaders of Navarro need to understand why becoming a Republic signatory is valuable. By letting them suffer. Sounds like a rather imperial <laughs> way of thinking. Captain, you're out of line. It's fine. I'm used to that kind of talk. You and your sword didn't see the light. You were captured. No. I was liberated. In any event, thank you, Captain, for bringing this to our attention. He don't we'll trust her. We'll see if we her. can allocate some additional mm -hmm. assets. Help is on the way. Yeah, about that. Oh, you're looking for Mando. I have a time pressing matter to attend to. Clear out, blue boy. <laughs> blue boy. The new Republic How isn't well. How did you manage to find us? Mandalorians pride ourselves on our secrecy. Fortunately, someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. Oh. Oh. Thanks, R5. The entire covert will now have to relocate. Or we could kill him. Stay right here. This man cut me a break once, and now I'm returning the favor. The New Republic has to know that the Empire is growing again. And you think the Pirate King has something to do with it? I can't say for sure. But something doesn't smell right. I just came to tell you your friend is in danger. And I thought you should know. Grief Karga is now a high magistrate and has offered me a tract of land on his independent world. Perhaps it is time for us to live in the light once again on a planet where we are welcome so our culture okay. may flourish and our children can feel what it is to play in the sunlight. Okay. Does anyone else wish to speak? I do. I knew it. He's he I was rescued there on your Navarro kid. That night. I fought against Grief Karga and his hunters. I saw my brothers and sisters fall at the hands of the Imperial butchers that hunted us in the sewers. Okay. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. Aww. The question we should be asking ourselves is why? Why should we lay our lives down yet again? You kind of just said, so you can live in the light, maybe you can have a place to be. Because we are Mandalorians. Oh. I have had my disagreements with this man. Do not see that but he coming. risked his life to save my son. There we and it Bo -Katan is. And Kree's did not give up on my child's life, even when the rest of us did. He felt shame this in that moment. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hey, oh, Mandalorians this fight home right again. Past fighter transport. I'll use this to drop you in, and you will operate as a tight military unit. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh. He's here. <gasps> Captain, there's a starfighter off our port bow. What? Oh. Mm. You to return, Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Ship. Understood. I grow a boy. Prepare to drop. That's so cool. Dude. Ah, ha, ha. That's just one team. Aha, 
Hostile ambush. Take cover. That guy sounds so official, like a soldier. Oh no, behind you! Behind us! Use your jet. Oh, I guess that's kind of vulnerable too. No, 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 no. We can't let even one of you fall. Help. Oh, big boy, here to play. I like it. Oh snap, bro, everyone's vulnerable. Oh, La, she coming. She is a melee fighter. We're in range. Bro, did you not hear your people? I guess that cannon. Stop by the left, Captain. It's Best man, man. serving you, Captain. Yep. But it's time to part ways. Anyway. Right. Bro! Hopefully that's outside the city. Hopefully they don't tar start another volcanic explosion. Yay! Hereby seed all land from the western lava flats to Bullock Canyon to the fine people of Mandalore. You may no longer have a home planet, but you do now have a home. Aww. Welcome. Welcome indeed. Welcome. Welcome and thank you. Remove your helmet. <gasps> but, uh, do you respect my station? I do. Remove your helmet. What is she getting at? She wants to be there. Our people have strayed from the way. And it is not enough for a few to walk it. Stop. We must walk the way together. Oh, Mandalorians. Is she trying to do a compromise? You have walked both worlds. You are the one who can unite us. Dark Saber! Hey, she's like, don't look at me. Oh, she's beautiful. No, they're just shocked that she's naked. Pokaton Kreese is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us so that we may join together once again. Is Mando going? But she shows again? her face. Bo-Katan walks both worlds. And she can bring all tribes together. Aww. It is time to retake Mandalore. Yes! Her dream! Her dream! Yeah, I'm real. That music's real suspicious. Captain David, do Lieutenant Reed. shows evidence of being attacked. Any reports in the area? Um, there's a record of a missing craft in New Republic prison transport. Wait, that's a little... A prison transport? Who? Oh, oh Gideon? Down. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. I knew it. Mm-hmm. He never made it to trial. What? It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. No! Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians? No! Do not set them up. Uh, I don't know why he makes me so sad. Not sad, excited. Sorry, I feel stupid. Uh, I want to go back and look real quick. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. 
Anyways, sorry about that emotional roller coaster. Um, that's why I completely missed the part where he's like, I'm going to go talk to them face to face. They're backed up. I was so distracted by me thinking it was Zeb and now discovery it was Zeb. Ugh. I legit like that. I mean, I like rebels in general. Like it just that, that those characters have a special place in my heart. Yeah. So it was just really cool to see that in live action. I really want to see Kanan and Hera, <laughs> obviously. Okay, this is just so many exciting things. Okay, refocus, refocus, refocus. Yeah, a lot of cool things tying together in this episode. We're bringing in the Mandalorians and we're bringing, going back to Navario with grief. <sighs> wow, I'm spacing his name. You know, that one character's name, Geef K Kerrigan. The High Magistrate, I'm sorry, my brain's not functioning right now. They're going back to Navarro. They're with the Mandalorians and they're coming back to that episode with Dr. Pesching and this what's her butt being all sneaky, sneaky deaky. Now they finally, the Mandalorians take back cool fighting action scene and they're coming to take, and they have finally this land back in this. And bo gets to take her helmet off and go on this mission reclaim Mandalore, bring them together. Oh, so exciting, which I think it's lead up to next season, perhaps, or maybe a completely offshoot. I don't know. Sorry, I'm like very all over the place right now with emotions. Um, We also get, I'm distracted because I'm looking at Zeb just standing there in the bar. The New Republic pilot goes out and discovers Moth Gideon is in fact not in prison. He did not stand trial. He has been extracted, escaped, free. He's out there, which had a feeling he was. I also heard in the woodworks that he's like, who? Like somebody had saw him in a con and he's, they're like, hope to see you again. He's like, just you wait. Like something like ambiguous where it's like, you may or may not just watch and find out. So had a feeling he was coming back, but I, I love me, uh, him spacing name. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible right now. So going to be really cool to see Gideon back. Um, so I'm guessing maybe she was trying to cover that whole thing and she's still dedicated to working with him, I suppose. Now the question is this best car he found inside the ship, was it in fact planted to set them up Mandalorians or was it Mandalorians? And we just don't know yet. Is somebody within the covert hiding something? I don't know. I'd like to believe not. I'd like to believe it was just a setup to put them against the Mandalorians again. Very disappointing, but not to mention, yes, Beskar is rare. Yes, it's precious to the Mandalorians, but that's not to say that anyone else could not get it. Pirates could steal stuff. They, the freaking Mandalorian planet got blown up. I'm sure people can find things. People are going there clearly and taking pieces back and out. So yeah, just saying, don't just automatically be like Beskar. Mandalorians? It's an easy option, but why? Why? Like literally their planet got destroyed from the Empire. So just saying, don't rush to conclusions. That's all I'll say about that. So excited for the future we have. Now, I don't know if they're going to try to do this whole reclaiming, taking back Mandalore in this season. It feels really like there's too much to go into to have that be. But we have that story coming up. We have this, oh, where's Moth Gideon? Yeah, there's not going to be five seasons five episodes season three anyways yeah where is moth gideon where like is there like clearly again not trusting like this pilot was already distrustful or sketched out by this captain or i, I forget her name sneaky spy gal two-face in the empire in pure in new republic she's basically is still the empire yeah, so we have some potential storyline there. I will say I am liking that they have shifted over to make Grogu. Honestly, even Mando, even Din Djarin himself as not the primary character in these most recent episodes. Bo-Katan has risen up. But even then, like, it really is just not becoming the Mandalorian, it's the Mandalorians. We're seeing the armor, we're seeing Bogotan, we're seeing Vizsla, we're seeing Din Djarin. Like we're seeing their personality about their lives. We discover he has a son. Bogotan is gonna go bring all the Mandalorians together. So I kind of like it's evolving over time to being like primarily about Din, 
and then Din and like with Grogu and they reclaiming and now it's just about them like and they're all like you see them and you're like yeah I recognize you but the story is really the story and not like primary character journey we're following you know what I'm saying so they use Din as kind of this figure we follow around, but they highlight so much of everything else he's exposed to going to this places and not necessarily himself. Cause I feel like we kind of get who he is and what he wants. And he has shown now and he has claimed what he wants. He has his son, he has his family, he has this growing sense of security for the Mandalorians and now they're going to essentially reclaim the Mandalorians and Mandalore as a whole. That is like pretty much wraps up his main goals. Like it's not about again this this you know this extremist cult which they mention you know which Bo-Katan viewed them as. It's not about the removing the helmet and self journey. It's very much about the whole and just his little foundling Grogu. So whew! and that's it. I'll leave it at that. That's a lot. Um, I rambled on. Hey guys, if you made it this far, you gotta have enjoyed yourself or you're just like, why am I watching this? And that's a good question. Why are you here if you hate it? So if you're here, you like it. So give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll be the best way for you to know when my videos go live. Otherwise you'll be like, um, excuse me. Or you'll just forget about me and then that'll be sad. But then you'll be happy. You'll be like, oh yeah, I do like this. So subscribe. So sorry about my all over the placeness right now. I had some caffeine and my brain is tired at the same time. And Zeb. Zeb so many feelings. Um, and for those who want some little extra, go ahead and follow my Twitch. If you're interested in live streams, ever want to see some things all over the place, not just Star Wars, just chatting, other games, weird music things, go ahead and join the, my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zell, X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Oh my gosh, that'll be the place to be. But uh, feel free to go in there and chat with other people in the community, ask me about Star Wars. It hasn't gotten old yet and I don't think it will anytime soon. So feel free to go in there and ask whatever within reason. And that's all folks, we'll wrap it up there. Good luck son in editing this messy all over the placeness. And uh, otherwise, thanks guys so much for being here. Yay to Zeb and yay to you, and I'll see you on the next one.